don't really watch a whole lot of sports, and from what I see, I'm not super missing out on anything. I mean, you guys are losing friends over a person's ability to play catch. Football is the religion of the redneck and 90% of everybody else. I mean, going to a football game is very similar to going to church. A bunch of people gather together with other believers and sit in uncomfortable seats. They both serve bad alcohol in the middle of services, and they each gather together on a Sunday. Only difference is that in church, you don't need a helmet unless you're serving in the nursery. We also don't have mascots, although I definitely think we should. I think that one of the qualifications for being a mascot is that you have to hate the sport that you're supporting so that you don't end up getting stuck on the sidelines watching the game. You also have to have the inability to smell or else you'll end up passing out from standing inside the suit for two hours. And interestingly enough, those are actually the same qualities that every woman with a newborn child wants in her husband doesn't want to watch sports, and can't smell diapers. But you guys really can't enjoy sitting through a game. I think that the people out in the RVs and trucks have the right idea. Or even better, just go home and watch the game while folding laundry. Although one advantage of going to the game is that you might get to meet the players and even get their autograph. Sadly, it was on the bottom of a restraining order, but you know, still. And there are a bunch of other sports that people just seem to have forgotten about. Like, baseball is like hot potato with a stick. I mean, it might not be, but that's a funny analogy, you have to admit. And have you guys ever seen rugby? I personally think that rugby is a great idea. The people who created rugby realized that the guys playing football get hurt way more than they should. And so what they did was take the helmet off of their players so that they can see better. And they didn't need those pads because they were just slowing them down. And one of the best parts about sports has to be the Jumbotron. I mean, when they show people on the Jumbotron, they always look the same, sad and pathetic. But, you know, any of us would after watching 45 minutes of grown men run around on a field with a ball. But when they realize they're on the Jumbotron, they suddenly look like you gave them their money back. And to take this church analogy farther than it should go, we should get some Jumbotrons at church. You could do their fun little games like whoever can worship the hardest gets a free gift card to the thrifty copy shop out in the foyer. And instead of the kiss cam, we could do snooze cam, weekly featuring the deacons and various members of the pastor's family. And we'll no longer give numbers to the parents with kids in the nursery. Next time their kid does something wrong, we'll just watch it live. Share the video. Is that funny? I thought it might be, but you know, I wasn't sure. Let's change it up here. I'm gonna name myself Bar Fall E Emu? Emu. Emu. No, I think that works. I mean, granted, that's not a phrase that could actually be said, but it's close, and I think that counts for something, and I don't, I don't think you're giving me credit that I deserve for that. Okay.